Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the issue where your Apple Pencil is not connecting to your iPad. So for this demonstration, I'll be showing you this on a second generation Apple Pencil. But if you do have a first generation Apple Pencil, then the steps are going to be somewhat similar. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure that your Apple Pencil is fully charged. Now, how we do this on the second gen models is you just place the Apple Pencil on the side of the iPad like so, and it should just kind of stick there. If you have a first gen pencil, then there'll be a USB slot on the back here and you can just insert this directly to the iPad. Once your Apple Pencil is placed on charge, what we're going to do is just head over to our iPad and we're going to bring up the settings menu. From here, scroll down on the left and select Apple Pencil. And right at the top, you can see the battery percentage of our Apple Pencil. As you can see for me, this is currently at 100% charge. So just make sure you have sufficient charge in this settings menu. And whilst we're here, you just need to come down to scribble at the bottom and make sure this is turned on and enabled. So as long as your Apple Pencil is fully charged, what we're going to do is just remove the pencil from the iPad like so. Head over to the Bluetooth section of the settings and you're just going to go ahead and turn your Bluetooth off. Then you can turn your Bluetooth back on. Locate your Apple Pencil that you currently have connected to the iPad. Mine's this top one here. Click on the information button and then just select forget this device and confirm by pressing forget. Then what you need to do is just quickly turn your Bluetooth off again. Turn the Bluetooth back on. Then place your pencil back on the side of the iPad like so. And it should detect that at the top here and automatically connect that for you. If that's still not working, another thing we can do is come down to general from the left here. Click on soft software update and just ensure that you're running the latest version of iOS. Sometimes if you are running outdated software, then this can cause compatibility and connection issues with our devices. So if there is a pending update inside of here, then you'll need to install that now. So if you've tried everything so far and your pencil is still not connecting, another thing we can do is force reset our iPad. Now to do this, you just need to tilt the iPad on its side like so, and you'll see these two volume buttons at the top here. So in order to force restart our iPad, what you need to do is press the volume up button and release, press the volume down button and release, and then just hold the power button at the top here. And you need to keep hold of this button until you see a black screen. And shortly after the black screen, the Apple logo should appear. And then once you see the Apple logo appear, that basically confirms the reset and we can release this power button. And once your device is fired back up, we can then check to see if we can now connect our Apple Pencil. So if you still can't connect your device, another thing that we can do here is head back over to the settings menu, come down to the general tab, come right down to the bottom and select transfer or reset iPad, click on reset at the bottom and select reset network settings. Now what this is going to do is it's going to reset all of your network and Bluetooth connections. So you'll just need to enter your iPad passcode if you do have one and then follow the steps on the screen to carry this out. And hopefully by now one of these steps should have fixed it. If you have tried everything and that still hasn't solved it for you, the very last thing that I'd recommend doing is just placing your Apple Pencil on the side of the iPad like so. If you have a first gen pencil, then just go ahead and insert it into the USB at the bottom. Then with the pencil connected, you're going to turn off the iPad. Now it's important that we keep the pencil connected to the iPad when we turn this off. And then once you've turned this off, you're going to wait 60 seconds. Just make sure everything's charged. Make sure your iPad's charged. Make sure your pencil's charged. And after 60 seconds, you can then try turning the iPad back on. And remember to leave the pencil connected and that should have now solved the issue. And that's it guys. If you did find this video helpful, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing.